square prism of uh, base head is 35 axis length 60 mm rest on one of its base edges which is inclined to VB at 30 degree draw the projections of the square prism when the axis of the square prism inclined to the HP at 45 so there are two angle of inclinations given one is angle of inclination to the base edge one is angle of inclination to the axis so that means it is a normal type problem okay so first we are going to draw an x y line then we construct the with respect to the procedure So square prism of dimension 35 and it is resting with respect to one of its base heads here. Okay. Thirty-five. And here, top face notations A, B, C, D. And the bottom face notations are A one, B one, C one, D one. And here, we are going to draw these thin lines to find out the center. Okay. Remember, in the case of prism, we are going to draw thin lines. Okay. Okay. This is what the top view. So the front view, we are going to draw now by drawing projection lines this is bow and bow one so the axis length given 60 mm so from here axis length of 60 Can write the front view notations you can see here b dash a dash visible c dash and d dash not visible and here b1 dash visible a1 dash not visible c1 dash visible d1 dash not visible similarly o1 dash and o dash not visible okay can show the dimensions Okay, now in a angle of inclination to HP, they have given 45 degree. So we'll do for the base edge inclination. Okay, we'll take a reference of C1 dash D1 dash. Take protractor. Mark for 45 degree. Draw an angle line. Right? Okay. We we'll take compass.
वन फोर नाइन्टी डिग्री Okay, now we draw a line of length 60 mm. Mention the namings here. So extend the axis to show the angle. Now we have here forty five degrees. Okay, I've done the notations here. A1, B1, C1, D1, O1, D3, B, C, D, O. So first we write the outer boundary line as we know that concept. First step is writing the second position top view is to construct the outer boundary line. Now the visible faces you can see this uh, rectangular face it is visible from the top view okay and this top face also visible you can see this top face okay this bottom face not visible already we have written a part of it so the sum part will show with the dashed line here can they see this rectangular face also not visible so already we return with the continuous line and part of it we shown with the dashed line and there is another concept that if there is a merging of continuous line with the dashed line we should show the continuous line finally we are going to show an axis line here this d1 and c1 not visible and o1 also not visible so now we construct the He said here angle of inclination to VP they have given 30 degree. Okay, so we have to make sure this resting edge is placed here. Take a reference end of D1 okay measuring from d1 to c1 okay now perpendicularly i am going to mark
using compass just a thing we have to do it using compass Okay, so we've done the notations here now. So now join it using scale. Now the top face notations in this first we construct. Okay. So these notations we have to connect it. Okay. B one dash. We are finally. One dash we have. So the nearest point x y line we have d here. You can see d is connected with a. We'll write here. Okay, d is connected with a. Okay, and d is connected with c, and d is connected with d one. So these are the dashed lines. Okay. So first I'll complete the dashed lines. You can see that. Okay, d to c dash. Then d to a dash. In D to D one dash, you can see that. Okay, now everything should be completed with the continuous line. And then finally there is an axis we'll connect the axis the straight and dot line okay so this completes the problem